Liver toxins are chemical poisons produced by fungus in maize, groundnuts and some other staple crops. Due to their widespread contamination in foods and feeds, there is high exposure to these toxins in Africa. Often, clean-looking grains also have aflatoxins. Aflatoxins undermine human health, are potent causes of cancer, suppress the immune system of humans and animals, and stunt children's growth. In addition, they prevent farmers from selling their products at premium prices. Poultry and fish are highly sensitive to aflatoxins as well. They die or their growth slows if feeds contain aflatoxin. You know, more than 200 people died in Kenya due to aflatoxin poisoning. However, even more dangerous is its slow poisoning effect. We are exposed to the poison even before we are born. The toxin passes from mothers to the unborn child and then from mothers to the baby through breast milk, then from the weaning foods containing maize, and finally when we eat contaminated maize-based diet. So all throughout this whole process, we are continually exposed to the toxin. In other words, aflatoxin is a silent killer. To address these problems, IATA and partners developed AfliSafe, a safe and natural biocontrol product that drastically cuts aflatoxin contamination in African food crops. Collaborating with the United States Department of Agriculture, IATA and partners demonstrated the ability of a natural fungus found in Nigeria to significantly reduce concentrations of aflatoxins in maize. This technology um, is not new. It is, it is being used in the US. And we tested um, maybe six local uh, materials before selecting uh, sorghum compared to some other local materials that we tested. On-station trials in different locations in Nigeria showed a tremendous drop in aflatoxin contamination in maize. Farmers who participated in the field trials of AfliSafe achieved, on average, high levels of aflatoxin reduction on grains at harvest. This is better than what I've been doing on my farms. And I believe I will, I will, I will have more harvest rather than the one I've been doing. You can even see it by yourself. I've not seen any, any, any disease on it compared with before. I mean, in the cups you find out that it's, it's meat. You know, there are some cups when you open them, you find out that they are kind of mold. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But this, this one is very neat. The native strains of Aspergillus flavus that do not produce aflatoxins, called atoxigenic strains, are applied throughout an area to box out and exclude aflatoxin producers. The atoxigenic strains are carried on the grains from the field to the stores. This results in reduced levels of aflatoxin contamination in crops and in stores. The atoxigenic strains survive in the field for a long time, providing benefits for several years. Unlike pesticides, this biocontrol does not need repeated applications. The fungus that we apply, the toxigenic strains that we apply, can survive for several years. Basically, it can help in improving health and the benefit of that runs in millions of dollars. And in terms of benefit to trade and to the pocket of farmers, it runs into tens of millions of dollars. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, in Nigeria, has provisionally registered AfriSafe. You see, if, if, if it works as we are believed that it will, I think it's a welcome development even to the government because in terms of safety, if government embraces the technology, at least it curtail a lot of aflatoxicosis. Its adoption is expected to reduce aflatoxins in grains and benefit the country through improved health and incomes. <laughs>